there's been a lot of there's been a lot of nonsense going on lately, okay? There's been a lot of politics. It's been a very strange time. Um, people have been acting weird. We've seen some Biden people really losing their mind. Somehow the right-wingers managed to lose their mind even more than the Biden people did, which I'll be honest, in this particular instance, I didn't quite expect that to be the case. Uh, given how hardcore people were stumping for Biden, right before Biden stepped down. Um, I, I really didn't expect the conservatives to be able to lap them like day of. But, but, all that said, there's still been some Biden nonsense that has been, you know, it's just a little stuck in my craw, okay? And one of them involves a, a streamer that some of you may no already um by the name of xander hall uh xan has been kind of and i don't really understand exactly where it's all coming from a hundred percent i mean i know he was really 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 hardcore onto the uh onto the whole biden thing you know um he was like really into it and he got pretty heavy into it right right up to the very end but there's been a very weird follow-up, and, and I don't know, you know, I just, it's been making me feel a little weird. So I wanted to talk about it just a little bit, you know? Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about it just a, just a tiny, tiny bit. And also, at the end of this, I have a, uh, I have, I have a, a message to deliver to Xander Hall. So if you're a Xander Hall viewer who also watches my show, uh, if you are a, a Xander Hall viewer or Xander Hall himself who comes through and watches this later, uh, you know, there'll be a little message for you at the end of this section. But yeah, um, there's just been some stuff. So the first thing that happened, okay, the first thing that I heard about this was um, a couple of weeks ago uh, after the debate uh, in which Biden... Uh, mentally shut down and embarrassed himself in front of the entire world. A debate that was so disastrous that it set the entire Democratic Party into a open panic. An uncontrollable, embarrassing panic. Um, I, I received a number of messages from mutual viewers uh, of me and Xander Hall. And, uh, and, and I, was, I didn't really expect it, you know? Because... Uh, I have been, I've stayed far away from any sort of drama for some time. You could argue the last, like, drama flare-up that I had was the whole, um, Keffel situation, which I have a whole video on that. You can go watch it. I haven't talked about it, uh, in any real way since then, and I won't be. I said my piece in that video, and I explained my rationale for why I felt I needed to talk about it. Um, but, uh, I, you get a lot of people that are that bait drama when you're a live streamer. You know, people want to see people fight. They love the drama. Um, and I didn't really expect it to be coming from the direction of Zan's community because Zan's community and mine have never really had a whole lot of beef. Um, we've generally gotten along. We disagree on some things, sure, but we've never really had like a, 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 a drama. There's never been any drama between us. Um, and so I started getting a bunch of messages and I got three or four of these messages in a single stream of people saying that Zan was very angry about me criticizing Biden following, um, the, the debate. And some people said that he went so far as to, uh, say that I sounded like a Trump supporter, which I have not been able to verify that that was actually said about me. Um, I didn't, I don't have the time to go scrub through a million VODs. Um, I said, if he said that, that would be very silly. Um, and, uh, and people did indeed come in the comments and say, yeah, he said something like that. But I will tell you, you know, cards on the table. I haven't gone and scrubbed to find if he actually said that about me. But, you know, that kind of sucks. You know, I, I don't like that. I don't like the idea of, of somebody I've always been friendly with. Uh, taking a pot shot of that level at me. Now, the whole reason why I I even wanted to talk about this at all 
And I don't think this is like some world ending thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just been getting on my nerves a little bit. And people have been mentioning it a lot. Which is um, that shortly after I was told that he was saying this about me, he did actually say this about another streamer that many of you will be familiar with. A streamer by the name of Vosh. And I wanted to just show you with your own eyes some of the stuff that was said so that we can have, like, we can talk about it and react to it in real time, okay? Because it's just, like I said, it's been getting on my nerves a little bit, and uh, I'm tired of having shit on my nerves. And, you know, so let's just watch real quick. This is from, uh, this is from uh, Vosh's stream on July 12th, about 11 days ago. Will determine the future of this nation. Zan going so hard. Why do you, why the drama? Who, if I'm watching, I'm watching. What is he even saying? Why not just say what is being said? than Biden. That's the thing. I mean, and I was, and he sounds okay, like okay ish. You know, Biden was hosting a NATO meeting in DC. Just listen. And now I want, I'm not going to lie. I, I think you have to let me talk or to respond. Thing is everything. Else. Well, let's watch. watch a couple of these and pretty very straightforward thing to be unrelated. But I think like, even, like I'm sure you're not just. A it was bad enough they they had to pull me out of retirement just for for one last hit job on President Biden. This video. I'm realizing now that the timestamp that I set was a little early. I actually originally meant to put the timestamp before all the rewinding. But the rewinding was extremely funny to watch, so I hope we Sponsored, can keep going. Sponsored, of course, by uh, <laughs> Americans for President Trump. No. Wait. Okay. So you gotta, you gotta. Okay. So he's self-aware, right? Like he's self-aware that there's sort of a very clear shift he's taken in his content as we're getting closer to the election, where we use. Like my friend said that skimming through his thumbnails, he couldn't tell whether or not he had become a right-wing streamer. Your friend might be uh, kind of fucking stupid. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> Criticizing Biden is right wing, wanting Biden to drop out so a better candidate can be. Come on, man, this is low level stuff. Now, you guys might know that this type of rhetoric has been lobbed at me a lot over the last few weeks. And it's interesting, of course, to see that it's also being lobbed at Vosh as well. Uh, the thing that's annoying is that it's being lobbed from Xander Hall, and I don't understand exactly why. Like, one of the, the weirdest things about all of this is like, first of all, that's a huge thing to say. To say like, oh yeah, my friend offline uh, said that you looked like a red, uh, like a right winger or something. Uh, like, what a hell of a citation. But secondly, like, let me just be real. Like, Zan has open DMs with all of us. Like, if you, if you had a real concern, you could just DM me or you could just DM Ian. He's able to do that. It's like it's like a normal thing. We've done a lot of stuff together. You guys have actually seen. I did a vlog with with uh, Xander Hall. There's a they're all up in my ch shorts channel. So I don't know. I don't know what the angle is here. It's kind of funny. It's it's also kind of like it's kind of a big claim. But let's keep listening. Do I even need to dignify this with a response? Like he, my my buddy Ethan, like straight up asked me, like is is Vosh like a right wing streamer now? Yeah, is like really. But is he like going full grifter? It was like it sucks because like Ethan. Do, do, am I to, am I to assume this is like a transparent like getting attention? We need views thing. I could, I don't I don't understand. I I I have a, a fuzzy memory in the best of times. I feel like I distinctly recall Xander Hall having the faculties necessary to comprehend the difference between uh you know this is a criticism of the democrats and of biden meant to facilitate a better chance of beating trump versus like whatever the fuck the right wing is cooking when they criticize biden like the the you thought you think i'm a right winger i'm i'm like making videos on trump and epstein being the best of friends touching tips on the island come on silly Vosh and I went and shot guns in real life. Like, Ethan has hung out with me and Vosh in real life. So he was like, dude, this is sad, man. Like, I I've hung out with this guy. It feels like I I'm this is some cringe he's uploading. What? That's a really, really weird thing to say. It's a really weird angle to go. It's really weird. 
What? What are we? What are we talking about, man? Why do I even bother getting along with people when this is the inevitable outcome of every person I maintain like a semi-friendly relationship with? Biden lost the debate. Should they just replace Biden? Biden's biggest allies wanted to rock out. Supreme Court was to hatred of homeless killing this country. Trump granted total presidential immunity. As for that, Biden needs to drop out. Yeah, I want Biden to drop out. Why would the right want Biden to drop out? They're, you know, they're confident in, in beating him. Yeah, like Which, by the way, that's been confirmed, of course. We now see that the right wing is losing their mind that Biden dropped out. In fact, going so far as to Donald Trump is still screaming that it's a form of fraud and that uh, he should be able to sue um, the, the DNC. They are very, very mad about it. So, you know... That that just just props to the the correct prediction here. Just just to be just on a matter of pure uh, uh, you know analysis of the politics here. There was a side that was right, and it was the side that said, "Hey, uh, uh, Joe Biden should drop out." My this hasn't even gotten to my the, the shit that I'm saying yet. My buddy, my human point, spoken a little too much. Obviously not. Uh, it does not mean you are pro-Trump to point out the unviability of the current Democratic frontrunner for the presidency. Folk unviability when Trump is the only other candidate? But, but yeah, it, it does make you pro-Trump in this situation. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? So do you see why I said that this shit has gotten on my nerves? Do you see why I say that it's just pissing me off just a little bit? Yeah, you are pro-Trump. You know, just, just, just saying. Now, again, I know that I was talked about. I don't know the full degree. I don't know if Zan said all of this exact stuff about me. But I, I was sent this clip because, of course, obviously, I'm another person who's been heavily critical of Biden. So, <laughs> Zan accusing me and other people, uh, uh, directly here, Vosh, of being pro-Trump by criticizing the horrific and non-viable performance of Joe Biden. Which now, by the way, with hindsight, we can all point out, even Joe Biden agreed was non-viable. But saying that you're pro-Trump for seeing the truth, that is what I've kind of been raging against a lot lately. Remember how a whole bunch recently, I've been saying that this is the no gaslighting zone? That when you step into this stream, you're in the zero gaslight sphere, where we have put up wards against the democratic gaslighting? This is exactly the type of stuff I'm talking about right here. The, the shit that says, no, you're pro-Trump. If you so much as criticize Biden, if you point out the fact that Biden's brain was leaking out of his ear, you're pro-Trump. But let's continue. Let's continue. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What? Oh, wait, okay. Like, gen is this a grift thing? Like, genuine question. This is, like, incredibly easy 101. Are we kidding? This is... I want Biden to drop out and to be replaced with Kamala Harris. Or if they could get Whitmer. Now, take note of that what Vosh just said here. A thing that, by the way, I was also saying, you know, I said that Kamala Harris is probably the smartest move, uh, that I would be obviously, uh, that I didn't like the idea of an open, uh, uh, an open primary or an open convention, but that I think that it would be better than sticking with Biden. Um, and that I think that Kamala Harris was the obvious answer. That's another thing that I also said in the last few weeks. Let's continue though. I, I don't think they're going to get Wimmer. Kamala Harris to beat Trump. If Biden doesn't drop out, I want Biden to beat Trump. What? How is this? Please, this guy's a troglodyte. You don't have to take It's weird, dude. No, you don't understand how many times this happens. I think people are halfway normal, and then when it when the winds blow and it becomes more convenient to dislike me, their IQ, their brain fucking blends itself into a smoothie, and the shit they say is so stupid that it just... Like, 
Zan seems to genuinely just love Biden. That doesn't excuse mistaking this for a pro-Trump argument. That's ridiculous. Like, it, it's crazy. Am I the only person who believes anything? Am I, am I the only one whose beliefs are not contingent on, like, whether or not it would be more profitable of me to manufacture disagreements with other people? Like, it's, it's ge it genuinely, like, every time, it's like, people are fine, and then when they decide... And I haven't talked to Zan in, like, fucking forever either, so all of this character development on his end is on his end. Why are you covering that? Because, because I think it's important to remind myself, purely for my own purposes, that arguments against me are not even worth... <laughs> engaging with anybody who j the the i will say it's really 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 obnoxious okay it's really annoying when uh when it's not even just like you guys know for example i have criticized vosh multiple times uh, very openly i've i've never hesitated from criticizing vosh but you'll notice that when i criticize vosh i do so from a position of good faith that I don't uh, I don't go out of my way to be to make exaggeratory statements uh, that imply that every action is uh, is somehow uh, dark or manipulative in fact you guys can probably go and watch my video where I criticized uh, Vosh on the weed takes where I just said I, I, I was able to articulate that without being like yeah Vosh is a he's basically a law and order Republican at this point and I'm not saying that, like, you know, God knows. There have definitely been times where I've criticized people less charitably than others. For example, when I criticize Michael Knowles. But Michael Knowles is a guy who stands up and says that he wishes that we were back in 1520 or whatever it was. I don't remember the exact year that he said. 1250 or whatever. Um, and we're not exactly talking about the same level of advocacy here. Especially when you consider the amount of, like, history of real uh, a bond that even even Zan invoked his actual friendship with Vosh here. While using that as a bludgeon to imply that he's pro-Trump for criticizing Biden. Rain Bummer says, I always found it interesting that Demon Mama and Zan seemed close. Zan strikes me as too immature and reactionary. I don't think he's immature and reactionary most of the time. I don't know what he's onto with this. That's the thing that's been getting under my, um, that's the thing that's been getting under my skin. Um, like, I, I've always gotten along with Zan. I think Zan is, like, generally a nice guy. And even here, like, I don't think this is the end of the world. It's just bothering me. You know what I mean? It bothers me that somebody who I have been familiar with uh, is, is taking to the skies in such a weird way, in such a, a, an exaggeratory and performative way. It gets under my skin. You know, it gets under my skin to know that there is probably a, ch a chunk of the people who've been grossly misinterpreting my videos and, and putting deranged comments in my channel, maybe coming from a community of somebody who I've always been very, very friendly and and uh, good faith with. You guys can go watch all the videos I've done critiquing Zan's uh, debates and whatever. I've always come from a position of very good faith. Obviously, I'm very lighthearted. I like to make lots of jokes. I think the meanest I've ever been in a uh, in like a debate react to somebody who I was friendly with was probably to Paul's ego. I made fun of Paul's ego a lot. But I was still fairly charitable to Paul Zigo's, Paul Zigo's uh, arguments. And I even went so far as to have a conversation with Paul Zigo afterwards. Paul Zigo's also a funny guy, too, though. You know, he does work himself up. I mean, we just watched the titty slapping video. The argument made, it is pro-Trump. Anyway. What you're doing is pro-Trump, even though you've unambiguously stated that you think Biden should be Trump if Biden does end up being the nominee, and you think that somebody else should replace Biden in order to be Trump. If you think that is a pro-Trump argument, you you don't even, like, you you fail the first hurdle. I'm, I'm explaining, like, letters and colors to you. He's now, I want to see something. This is the one. It has never been this Jover. At this point, I'm going to hop over, and we're going to go look 
at it has never been this Jover, the actual Xander Hall video. Because I want to I want to get it straight from the source. Renewed Wolf says, Devil's Advocate, do you think that this Biden simping comes from anxiety around a Trump win? So he took the most extreme uh, WBNMW? I don't know what that means. What does WBNMW, stance possible, mean? Um, vote blue no ha Oh, V. Oh, okay, okay. That's why I was confused. Um... I mean, I think that's a part of it. I think that's a part of it. But I also think it's just like, it's just a, um, it just, it seems egotistical. And uh, I don't know, it seems egotistical and uncharitable to be like, yeah, anybody who isn't as ride or die for Biden for me. It's the smugness that I've yelled about. This is the shit I've been yelling about. A perfect example of it. That like, you literally, that, like liberals have gotten themselves to the point where, uh, uh, where, I mean, until there was a breaking point, an utter breaking point, a catastrophic failure, you would get screamed at and made fun of and accused of being a Trump supporter if you showed even the slightest bit of rational dissent. It's very silly. I want to know where the original one is. It's an eight-minute video called It Has Never Been So Jover. Right? It has never been this Jover. Where the hell is that video? This is the one. Biden's good and I'm tired of it. That's too long. Is that the one? Is this the one? So guys, I feel probably not scripted or anything. I, I would bet not scripted, but he's just talking to the camera. So there's no chat or donos or stun locking. So this will actually be a very straightforward thing to respond to. Ideal. And I caught the cold. Also, there's a drill in the background. I'm still recovering from it, which is my, why my voice sounds this way. Um, not particularly charismatic at the moment. Didn't want to make videos until... Okay, can I just say something really fast? This is completely unrelated, but I think it's like a weird thing. You know what I mean? You ever see a place in a photo, and you're only able to oh, get like a small part. degree... This is the weird part where he talks about... Re of yeah. ...even realize you got the parts of it that you can't see. It's way taller than I expected. You could not jump and touch the ceiling. Vosh could not jump. Now I'm doing the same thing we just did in the other video, but that's okay. This is for fun. It All right, this is for is this is this is to this is to get my voice out there. Valid candidate slash front runner. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. That is an argument. Gigantic Biden. I don't feel like this is the exact yeah, it's video. Happened back to back. Uh, okay. It's actually insane. I mean, it's bad enough that I saw oh, one man, and he thought. Oh man, reacted to this for a long time. Okay, so like, we're gonna we're gonna add on here. Biden gaffs. I want to know where the moment is. Why is this video gone? Did Zan take the video down? Why did? Why is the? It has never been so. This Jover video gone. That's an eight minute video. I wanted to hop there. Maybe we can only watch it through Vosh's video. Look, it's okay. Because we have another timestamp here that I want to talk about, okay? But for now, I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about another moment that happened recently. Me and Vosh have... This is one I encountered myself, because I was curious. So I went to go look for myself and watch the stream. ...debated before. Um, like, it doesn't... I don't know why he immediately is that debate to do the debate, but I want to see myself since this is partially like part of that debate prep I wanted to do. Like, it wasn't going to be like a, a harsh debate. Me and Vosh have debated oh, wait. before. Um, we have him like, here. It doesn't, I don't know why he immediately assumed it would be like. So this is the same stream. So he actually reacted to both of this. That's interesting. Me jumping down his throat or something. Let's see what he I said. mean. You said that he was a. Tr you said that he it, you he was c easily confusable with a right winger, and that he was supporting Trump. Like you don't understand why that might bother somebody. Okay. Like, really? This is binary. 
Audio, that's not me. Dang. Ethan, do, do, am I to, am I to assume this is like a transparent, like getting attention, we need views thing? My views are actually up. If you look at my social blade, I uh, I've actually hit a really big bump in the last couple weeks. Believe it or not, uh, I, I actually just disagreed. Wouldn't that? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. And uh, I, I'm down to have like a friendly conversation about it. I, I don't... See, that's the thing that's weird. It's not a friendly conversation when you start out the gate accusing people of supporting the guy that everyone agrees is a, an American fascist. That's not a, that's not how you start a friendly debate. A friendly debate would be like, bro, I really disagree with what you had to say. You want to have a talk about it on stream? You want to have a talk about it in DMs? I have had, over the course of years on this platform, I have had tons of friendly discussions about points that I disagree with with other people. Now, it's true that when you put something out into the world, there is a level of, this is now public, people can comment on it. But that doesn't mean that there's not, um, that doesn't mean that there's not like a rational way to respond to things, right? Like there's this horrific attitude. Uh, and some sometimes this attitude is held by, um, by content creators and YouTubers and streamers. There's this idea that if you put something out in the world, that that automatically justifies any response that anyone has to it. That if you so much as put your opinion out into the world, that means that anybody can say whatever and you can't be mad about it because you put it out into the world. Now, of course, there's a level of, uh, the, the rational and intelligent person would point out that there's like a level of reciprocity. And if, uh, if somebody puts something out into the world and says, I'm really worried about this thing, here's my argument, I'm gonna explain it in great detail, and you respond by saying something extremely uncharitable and perhaps even uh, personally offensive. I don't mean offensive in like the, the broad scope, but personally offensive to that person. They might respond with frustration and anger. And I find it weird to all of a sudden be like, oh my God, what's wrong with this? I don't understand. Oh, I don't understand. I, 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 like, I, I feel, I'm the, I feel like I'm the more consistent one here, right? Like, my, my take has been really consistently, uh, like, behind Biden, right? Like, going back to 2019, um, like, I'm behind the Democrat nominee, right? And that ended up being Biden. And I was against the Bernie or Busters. I covered Thank Biden you, with Thank criticism. You. I've criticized his gun takes. I've criticized his handling of Israel Gaza. It's not as being far from ideal. Um, I've criticized him, but I've also done a lot to look into his policy and his work as president and cover it. I've just, I, I, I feel like you can really easily just see like my takes in 2019 and my takes now. And it's like, okay, that's about right. That's what I expect from Zan. Um, and then see my, like, Vosh's takes from 2019 or 2020 and his takes now on Biden, um, now, like, just a couple months from the election. And it's like, I feel like you could see, like, I, I don't feel like this setup should lead one to believe this is some kind of, like, cl like clout front. And to be fair, I get why he would think that. I am a smaller creator. He has more clout. But, you know, he's also a friend of mine who is relevant in this space, and it's been sort of like a thing that's occasionally come up about his coverage, and it's, it, there's been a lead up to this. This wasn't just like, oh, he got, he got fired, got fired, but not even trying to... You invoked your friend to call him a right winger. You invoked your random friend and also your personal relationship to be like, is this guy a right winger now? That's what you said. You didn't just say like, oh, I don't really like the fact that you've been so negative on Biden. You said you seem like you're a right winger and you openly stated you believe that he's in implicitly supporting Trump. Like, that doesn't strike you as a weird thing to do that might piss somebody off? That might, I mean, like it pissed me off to hear that people were saying you were saying that shit about me and then I see you doing this. Like... Obviously, people are going to be pissed off about it. Obviously. It's not like... And then to retreat, to not even own it and say, yeah, I was going hard, but instead to be like, oh, actually, whoa, bro, why are you so mad? I was being friendly. I was being rational. Dude, you open the gate by saying, you sound like a fucking right winger, bro. Come on. What the fuck?
Like, if I throw mad shit, and I get mad shit back, and then I go... Like, if, if, if Michael Knowles responded to my video where I taught, where I made fun of him for being a, a, uh, for, for wanting to be a peasant and, uh, be the human chamber pot for a local baron, uh, if, if Michael Knowles responded and, and called me a bunch of names, I feel like that would be pretty fair game. Now, obviously, there's a platform difference, but all that aside, if he was pissed off because I was making fun of him and doing an impression of him as a medieval peasant and really making fun of him and all that shit, and Michael Knowles was like, fuck you, asshole, fuck you. I'm, I, I would be a lord. I would totally be a noble. That would be fair game. But if I was like invoking my friendship with somebody, being like, I'm really good friends with this person and now I'm going to grossly misinterpret their position, you know, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like that person has a right to be frustrated, you know? Yeah, it's a birthday boying. He is, he's birthday boying. He's going, I'm a birthday boy. I'm a birthday boy. Whoa, I'm the, it's my birthday. You don't hit me on my birthday. He's kind of doing that for sure. Burn the bridge. Xander Hall, gun takes of Vosh, have you criticized? I've heard him encourage his audience to get armed. Uh, no, I agree with Vosh on guns. What do you mean? Wait, no, that's like, what, what are you talking about? Me and Vosh agree, I think, like, one to one on guns. We both own guns. We both love guns. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty certain the gun thing is not a disagreement. Where did that even come what from? What gun do I own? Well, right behind me, I have a two two three air rifle. Uh, I forget what it's from. And then right there is a Glock 19. A Gen 5. Anyway. I have a, a fuzzy memory in the best of times. I feel like I distinctly recall Xander Hall having the faculties necessary to comprehend the difference between, uh, you know, this is a criticism of the Democrats and of Biden meant to facilitate a better chance of beating Trump versus, like, whatever the fuck the right wing is cooking when they criticize Biden. I, I mean, the, the right wing has been criticizing Biden for being mentally unfit to be president, primarily. Ha, like, the where did that start? It's sped up. It's sped up, yeah. Like the, the you thought you think I'm a right winger? I'm I'm like making videos oh, no. on Trump and Epstein being the best of friends, touching. T well, n n no. You said you said that he seemed like a right winger. You said that he was a Trump supporter. No, I I know you're not a right winger. That's why I'm. That's why it's weird that you're covering Biden, the only other candidate, so harshly. If you were a right winger, it would. My 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 criticisms would not be. Here are a bunch of things that I know you would like Biden did. Did you know he did that? I feel like that's relevant. Like, what, what, why would my arguments be t tailored to, to be towards someone who presumably wants Trump to lose? My, all my arguments have been tailored. I, I okay. I, I, he know, I'm, I'm sure he figures it out. Like, I, I, maybe he watches more and hears, like, more of my take. Tips on the island? Come on. Silly. Vosh and I went and shot guns in real life. Like, Ethan has hung cool. out with me and Vosh in real life. So he was like, dude, this is sad, man. Like, I I've hung out with this guy. It feels like I'm this is some cringe he's uploading. What? What, what, are we, what are we talking about, man? Why do I even bother getting along? By the way, that time that he's referring to, I was there, just so you guys all know. I was there, too. I was there that day, the exact day that he's referring to. We all went together. We went and got Greek food. It was a good time. And? Along with people, when this is the inevitable outcome of every person. Dog. Dog. Th this feels. Was I be? Was am I being like uncouth here? Am I not allowed to just say like I hung out with Vosh IRL? I think he's a chill guy. We're we're we're. That's not what you said, actually. That's not actually what you said, though, bro. Brother, you walked into this and you said, uh, we, you said, my friend says you look like a right winger now and, and we hung out in person and now I'm seeing you doing this. That's fucking cringe, bro. You seem like you're a right winger. You're a Trump supporter. You didn't say you're a nice guy. I really don't understand why this is the difference. Ooh, ooh. that's not what you did. We just fucking watched it. And this, you see, do you guys see? Why it's getting on my nerves just a little bit. Do you see why it's just, it's just grinding my gears just a tiny bit. Do you guys understand? I know that this is a bit of a, this is a bit of an odd thing. 
but it's just, it, it got under my skin. Let's just put it that way. And I, I can own that. I can own that it got under my skin, but I think I have a right to talk about it when certain things get under my skin, you know? Cool. Like, that's literally what I'm saying there. It, it's like I'm talking about Ethan telling me he noticed Vosh AB testing his thumbnails to try and see if, like, the anti-Biden thumbnails got more views. What? That's what AB testing is for. And, uh, like, they added it recently, and, and Ethan noticed because he's my editor and told me, and that was part of what led to this. Because it's like, it, it, it just, it seems like a very heavy emphasis on the anti-Biden lately. Yeah, why might that be? You see, a charitable person would go, huh, I wonder why this person is very anti-Biden. A, a friend would message and go, hey, buddy, I noticed you're super anti-Biden and I just can't tolerate that. I don't know why I can't tolerate the idea of anti-Biden, but I can't tolerate it. Buddy, why are you so anti-Biden? That's what a friend would do, which you claim you are. And uh, a, <laughs> so that would be one thing, you know? That's what a friend would do. But the rest of this is not what a friend or even a charitable person would do. If you were charitable, even in the slightest, you might ask the question, why does someone believe something that they believe? And then you would look for the answer, and then you would try to understand from their perspective, and then if you still had critiques, you would do that charitably. But that's not even close to what happened. And now there's this whole, whoa, why are people mad? Whoa! Like, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying that you have to, like, ask permission to criticize other people. God knows fucking I criticize other people all the time without asking them. I criticize TJ. I criticize Paul's ego. I criticize Vosh. I'm criticizing Zan right now. And there's no permission asking. But, you know, I'm trying to keep it one for one. What's been said to what's been said. We try to keep it even unless there's a need for escalation. But I feel like calling somebody who's very clearly not a Trump supporter a Trump supporter out the gate is going to piss people off. Just saying to maintain like a semi-friendly relationship with also like to be clear by the way also yeah it is really funny that zan is also like pitching his editor under the bus it's like it's like really funny not an android do you have a do you have a stream where he talked about that if you have a timestamp for that or even a ballpark i would love to hear that i haven't heard him say that explicitly but i would love to hear that if you have even like a like a an area where he talks about that, that would be fascinating. I like I haven't heard. Also, they're probably thinking Ethan means like Ethan Klein. By the way, like like Vosh's chat does not know me and they don't like me, so I'm pretty certain they think I'm talking about Ethan Klein or something, and they're gonna go on a rant about how awful Ethan Klein is. Since when does since when does Vosh's chat not like Zam? Like almost certainly. Um, they certainly don't know that he's my editor that knows what A-B testing is and stuff. Uh, yeah, it just, I don't know. He was Biden saying lost I was the debate. Should they just replace Biden? Biden's biggest allies wanted to block out Supreme Court's to hatred of homeless killing this country. Trump granted total presidential immunity. Biden needs to drop out. Yeah, I want Biden to drop out. Why would the right want Biden to drop out? They're, you know, they're confident in, in beating him. The, the, the confidence in beating him does not mean the right is going to beat him. Like, we literally, did we not make fun of, like, everybody? Did we not make fun of Tim Pool? Or why are we Tim Pooling? We're Tim Pooling. Is Tim Pool. You see where, you see where the birthday boy routine doesn't really stand? When your first comparison is to compare someone to fucking Tim Pool? Like, man, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Sorry, one of my lights just went out. I gotta get a replacement studio light. Light. One of my studio lights just flickered out, but I got it back. I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it, everybody. It's all right. We, we're running a clean show here. It's super professional. No kludge together studio lights that desperately need to be replaced here. By the way, if you're enjoying this stream, having a fun time with this goofy nonsense, Consider throwing a few bucks my way. This is a viewer supported stream stream your donations can make sure I replace this studio light So I don't have that happen again. Anyway, let's continue. Thank you what we're doing here Don't Tim pool Where's the video let me find it 
Yeah, I here it is. I think Kamala and Biden might be throwaway candidates. They know they are going to get steamrolled in the election. I really don't see the Democrats winning this. I think it's fair to say Trump's going to win re-election. Bro. Can you see? Can you see what I'm saying now? If you were having an argument with your friend, would, you, would the first thing that you said to your friend and your, a friend who you knew was heavily invested in the election, heavily invested in, at the very least, let's be, let's be super, let's be super generous here. At the very least, a solidly liberal world is the first thing that you would do is compare them to right wing provocateur and drooling moron Tim Pool. Is that, do you think that that's what you do to a friend? A friend that, now keep in mind, just a reminder, Zan volunteered the friend information. This isn't me like doing friend policing. Zan opened this segment by being like, this is my friend. I think Trump might have a massive, massive victory, which shocks the left. I think we're looking at a Trump victory, man. Trump 2020 landslide, even with everything going on with COVID. I think that's what we can expect. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Trump had a 49 state landslide. I think we could see a 49 state landslide. Yeah, because that, because, because Vosh and everyone critical of Biden was definitely saying that Trump is going to have a, a 40 state landslide. That's what, that's, did you hear Vosh say that? I can't believe he said that. Gayfesh, can you please find me that, that timestamp? If you can find me that timestamp, that would be wild. We may be looking at a Mondale Reagan type scenario where Trump. Now I'm not comparing Vosh to Tim Pool in the sense like. You, you literally did. What do you mean? Bro, what do you mean? Because Tim Pool's, like, Tim Pool's a grifting right winger. I don't, that's not the point of comparison. The point of comparison is the, like, hardcore, immediate, like, jumping to the assumption of winning. Uh, they're doing this again. Like, like the Republicans are doing this. And at the same time, the, like, a lot of progressives, Vosh too, are doing this, where it's like, but... But it's the doomer end of it. Like, they think Trump is destined to win, parentheses, bad, you know? Like, I know Vosh doesn't want Trump to win. I don't think he's a grifter, but I also don't think this is the most effective way to make Trump not win. You know, like, my- This hasn't even gotten to my- the, the shit that I'm saying yet. My buddy- My live livestream token a little too much. Obviously not. Uh, it does not mean you are pro-Trump to point out the unviability of the current Democratic frontrunner for the presidency, folk. Unviability- when Trump is the only other candidate. Now we got a real streamception going on here. Just like the old days, folks. It's been a long time since we've done a streamception like this. Did it? Yes. That is the reality. Oh. So there he just he just says it again. But but yeah, it, it does make you pro Trump in the situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what is it, bro? Wait, 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 wait. So what is it? What? Y yeah, yeah, not being willing to put your support behind Biden when it is Biden or Trump and we are in the final run up to the election season making your channel like seemingly the dedicated Biden hate spot does in fact seem like Oh, oh, we're getting a little backpedal. If if one were to follow your actions without knowing you, it might seem that way. Yes. That's why I'm so confused. What, what, like, if, if this wasn't confusing to me, we wouldn't, we would be having a very different conversation, you know? Oh, wait, okay, like, Jen, is this a great- Staroxvia says, future Zan. I'm not saying that Vosh is pro-Trump, past Zan. Vosh is being pro-Trump, future Zan. Of course I'm saying Vosh is pro-Trump. Well, I mean, if you don't know who he is, but I do when I'm his friend and I'm still comparing him to Tim Pool, and I'm really upset that he's frustrated about me doing that. That was like a triple back. That was like a quadruple folded pretzel. Do you see why this gets under my freaking nerves? On, I, I mix two different idioms, but you That's know what I mean. Like genuine question. This is like incredible. Oh no, is he, 
is he just straight up gonna jump to accusing me of grifting when like despite being hold on this is just a little side side note we're doing it so this is his new Twitter account, for those that don't know. He does not follow me, by the way. Hold on, um, let's hear- he, he Wait, I not, want to wind that back just a tiny We're bit. talking about Vox's timeline today, and it, it was just kind of the straw that broke the camel's so back for me. So this is earlier in this same stream, right? Yeah, this is earlier in this same stream. I was just like, nah. <laughs> nah, we're- 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 We're talking about Vosh today. And we're- We're, like, we're doing it. So this is his new Twitter account, for those that don't know. He does not follow me, by the way. Um, he, he has not messaged or followed me or engaged with anything that I have said or done since the Keffels thing, I should mention. Like, as Oh, man. Oh, I wish. I wish. I... Oh, there's so much I wish I could say here that I fucking can't. Let's just say I got some... Secret knowledge. Bro, let's break out a classic. I got some secret knowledge about that little claim. I can't say anything though. It's secret knowledge. As far as I know, me and Vosh have not been friends since the Keffels thing. It's classified. Like the drama I had with Keffels because of, of the Keffels thing. So I, I don't even know if we even have a rapport still, because he hasn't spoken to me since uh, Keffels did her whole, like, uh, campaign to try to destroy my, uh, my channel. Okay. The Keffels Zan beef, which I never talked about for very obvious reasons. You guys remember how I aggressively told these people to not get me involved? You want to know... The, one of the main reasons... Do you guys remember what I said about that? That I thought it was the most fucking moronic and stupid thing? Well, um, let's just say... Let's just say I'm still as right as I ever could be. Anyway, Biden uh, apparently had a really bad speaking engagement yesterday. People were, like, doomering and freaking out about it. He misspeaks a few times and mix up na mixes up names. And oh! Everybody, whoa, we're entering the gaslighting zone! Everybody, please affix your masks! Please affix your masks to filter out the gaslighting. Let's go. Here's the clip that uh, that, that Vosh says, uh, you are insane if you think Biden shouldn't drop out immediately. Prepare yourselves to cringe. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> no, Joe! Joe! Okay, I just want to take a moment here. Like, like I said, thankfully, I have the antidote to gaslighting. It's not just a little slip-up to introduce uh, Zelensky as Putin. Zelensky is currently engaged in a bloody war, which the Democratic Party's official position is that is a, uh, it is an, a, a, an eliminationist imperial war. Zelensky has had to watch Putin and his, and his imperial claims mulch up his people that is not just a tiny oopsie that that would be like introducing a sur like introducing a survivor of the holocaust a int accidentally introducing them as adolf hitler like that's the level of inter like you can say those events aren't exactly the same and i would agree they're not exactly the same but on an emotional level on a professional level that is the same level of fuck up introducing the the president of the country that you are supporting in a horrific bloody drawn out war as his b m like to the death enemy is a massive screw up that is a global embarrassment level screw up it's not just some little oopsie don't worry not an android i got gotcha. you okay i got gotcha. you i'll hit you oh president putin you can beat president putin president Zelensky. He corrects himself immediately, too. It's like, okay, he misspoke. This is a guy who is... He starts to walk away from the podium before he realizes his mistake. The most pro-Ukraine president that we've had 
He is actually providing support to Ukraine and fighting with the Republicans in our government to continue to provide support to Ukraine. He has opened up the permissions for Ukraine to go on the offensive against Russia way more than like any time before. Like like uh, Ukraine has the opportunity to be more offensive and and strike positions more than they've ever been able to before. Okay, Biden is cares? continuously Yappin. pressuring allied nations. Yapping. It was a, a horrific embarrassment. He walks away from the podium. He doesn't immediately correct himself. He catches himself as he's leaving the podium, probably because someone screamed in his ear. He has a little earpiece. Somebody probably went, Jesus Christ, go back and correct yourself now! ...into helping. And it's like, okay. This is a guy who's talking about this war, this situation. He's looking over documents, signing things, talking to world leaders. And the guy mixed up two names in a relevant conflict. There are two guys fighting, Zelensky and Putin, and he mixed up their names. You know, whenever I was talking about- You know, the thing that Jeffrey Epstein doesn't recognize that he's doing here, as, as Epstein is ranting and raving on his stream, the thing he doesn't realize is that, oh, oh, sorry, did I say Jeffrey Epstein? I meant Xanderhal. Ha 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 ha, sorry. Woo, good the, thing I corrected Drake, myself immediately. Drake and uh, Kendrick beef. Um, I accidentally said, uh, 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 Drake instead of Kendrick when complimenting Kendrick. Does that mean I have dementia and I'm not fit to be- Are you the fucking president of the United States giving a speech at NATO? In the middle of f fucking up like 50 times in a week? You're a fucking streamer! You're a Minecraft streamer! YouTuber, because I mixed up two names, because I meant to say one name and not the other, and I'm talking about two people and some- Grime Dango, welcome to the chat. Grime Dango says, oh lord, what are we doing? This is what we call righteous fury. There's been flames pumping through my veins for months, and I'm letting just a tiny bit of it out for the, for the, for the betterment of the world. Welcome. Hope you get comfy. Sometimes you misspeak and mix up two people's names, you know? It's like, dog, you're a live streamer! Vosh! Max Sip says, is it Xander Yap or Yappenhall? It's Yappenhall for sure. Vosh, dude, you are a live streamer, possibly the most maligned live streamer for simply accidentally saying a thing in a somewhat uncharitably interpretable way, right? Like, you are the king of saying things that people see and decide to treat it like it's th the end of the world, right? Like, that's... That, that, that's like a lot of Vosh's brand. It's happened a million times. Um, and so the fact that he would see that, he would do that to Biden over like just a, a slip up is wild to me. Now this is like a very mild example, you know, it's a very- You didn't even show what, you didn't even show what Vosh said, bro. Very wild. Okay, I've been given another one, another timestamp from a recent stream which is from this video, Biden's based, and I'm tired of pretending he's not. Which was the horse thing. <laughs> and um, they they were like, dude, what the fuck is going on with Vosh's channel? Is he like a Bernie or Buster now? Like, is he, is he a grifter? I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, dude, like, I'm scrolling through Vosh's more recent uploads. I think he's just full on grifting now. And I was like, nah, he can't be full on. I don't think he's a grifter. Um, and, and he starts reading off the titles and thumbnails of the videos, and uh, he also tells me that um, Vosh has been testing thumbnails. There's a feature that allows you to like upload multiple thumbnails, and it shows like randomly the different thumbnails you've uploaded to different parts of your audience, and whichever. Th Damn! I wish I I wish I had been able to find this clip before I started this. Thumbnail performs best after a certain amount of time. It's a. This video is from the same stream, is it? Is this fr is this clip from the same stream? B testing, yeah. After a certain amount of time, uh, YouTube sets that most successful thumbnail as the thumbnail, and uh, they've been testing it with thumbnails that are really negative of Biden. Oh, it's earlier ones on. Ones that are kind of neutral sense. and ones that are a little positive. Um, you doing A B testing and s settling on the negative ones. So we've just got some insane anti Biden coverage. So. 21 hours ago, Vosh uploaded- So he- he says, My friend says that Vosh is a grifter, and I was like, What? And then I went online, and I saw him doing A-B testing, and that's just so fucked up. The conclusion of that argument being a strong implication that you think Vosh is a grifter for running content that is counter to Biden in this particular moment. 
Super, super friendly behavior. Um, it has never been this Jover. He said Trump is his VP. What the fuck? Uh, TYT is right about Biden. Um, do, 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 okay. do. Biden's team fails in disastrous briefing. Leaked internal polling data shows Biden is in massive trouble. Biden needs to drop. Now, of course, we all have the benefit of living in the here and now and recognizing that literally everything that he's rattling off right now turned out to be painfully true. But I think we've I think we've established the main point here. And I want to show you something else, okay? I want to show you something else. Okay? Just real quick. I want to show you something else. This is probably, you know, this might just get you a little pissed off, all right? So, Here we go. We're going to start with this clip. All right, let's watch this clip real quick. Like, I will take back everything I said in my criticism of, well, maybe not everything I said. There was definitely some valid uh, critiques of Vosh's non-coverage of Biden's achievements. But I'll take back a lot of what I said about Vosh's calls for Biden to drop out if he immediately gets on the Kamala train. Like, if, if he's on the Kamala train now and he's making, like, we got to vote for Kamala, con like, now. You got to get behind Kamala, get behind Kamala. We got to vote. We got to stop Trump. If he starts making content like that, I'll be like, okay, no, I, I totally misread this. Okay, my bad. And I'll take it back. And I'll make a video taking it back. Oh? Oh! Interesting! A video, huh? Let's hope he does that. That's what I'm hoping. He should, right? He has to? I hope so. He is? That's good. I mean, I have to see what content he makes, because, like, I, I make content pretty frequently that's covering the actual achievements of Biden and Kamala, so we gotta see... We gotta see if he falls... Like, remember when... Remember when... Uh, do we have the Zan... Uh, do we have the Xander Hall Drill Baby Drill? Now, hold on a second. Before we get into the drill baby drill shit, let me just show you something else. Because what's really funny about this whole ramble is that you might actually recall, some of you might remember, we actually watched this bit already, but I'm going to replay it again just so you can see what I'm talking about here. Are we kidding? This is... I want Biden to drop out and to be replaced with Kamala Harris. Before Zan made that segment, saying, oh, I'll, I'll make a video correcting it, Zan, in his initial reaction, reacted to, and apparently didn't pay attention, to Vosh saying exactly that. Or if they could get Whitmer, I, I don't think they're going to get Whitmer, Kamala Harris to beat Trump. If Biden doesn't drop out, I want Biden to beat Trump. What, how is this, please, this guy's a truck, let it, you don't have to, it's weird, dude! No, you don't understand how many times this happened. Here we have Zan, videotaping himself, listening to Vosh say that he supports Kamala Harris 100% and wants Biden to step down for Kamala Harris before, during the thing that started this drama. Drop out, I want Biden to beat Trump. We gotta see if he follows it up because lately it's been like nonstop anti-Biden. He should, right? He has to, I hope so, my bad. And I'll take it back and I'll make a video taking it back. Making content like that, I'll be like, okay, no, I, I totally miss Like now, you gotta get behind Kamala, get behind Kamala. We gotta vote, we gotta stop Trump. If he starts making content, Just, just so wonderful. For those of you guys that yeah, are for, not already way, aware. This is the type of video that, uh, this is the type of video that Zan's been putting out in, in support of Biden. Biden has actually record-breakingly opened up more permits for both domestic oil drilling and green energy. Drill, baby, drill! Production drill, than any baby, president, drill. like, ever in America. Thus cr helping to add to his record-breaking job creation numbers domestically in America. And despite this, despite the fact that we're seeing more domestic oil drilling permits than ever, we're also seeing record-breaking drops in carbon production under Biden's policies. His policies, while not perfect, are actually quite green. For those of you guys... Just, just so we understand the types of accomplishments that are being celebrated here, you know. Staroxpia says the Vox article that he's reading is critical of the oil drilling. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. The, dr the drill baby drill position is the Republican Party. That's what they were chanting at the RNC. So if you want to talk about who sounds more like a Trump supporter, bro, 
Maybe you ought to maybe you ought to check your own house. Maybe you ought to check the carbon monoxide filters in your own place before you start policing everyone else's. You know? Crazy. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. It makes you feel crazy. But I got one more thing, okay, to kind of top this all off. And then I have a special message. This is after we watch this, I have a special message. So all the Zan fans I'm going to ask you to go deliver this message to Zan. Make sure that he sees the message at the end. But we got one more thing to watch first. One more thing to watch and one more Excited thing to talk to about. for Kamala because I find... Here we go. Xander Hall, I'm kind of more excited to vote... This was after Biden resigned. Vote for Kamala because I find her so much more funny than Biden. Biden was very pragmatic and yeah, he would joke, but it would be like how an old man jokes. I would have still voted for him proudly, but I'm really excited for voting for Kamala. I mean, that's well and good. I will admit that a part of me, a part of me, a very small part of me, kinda wants to see Trump win, or it's less so wants to see Trump win, but think- Oh my God, he admitted! Trump will win, and when he does, that part of me will be able to I told you so everybody who called for Biden to step down. But that is a very small part. The guy who just spent multiple streams accusing people who criticize Biden of being Trump supporters, of saying that they think Trump's gonna win. But I'm really excited for voting for Kamala. I mean, that's well and good. I will admit that a part of me, a part of me, a very small part of me, kinda wants to see Trump win, or it's less so wants to see Trump win, but thinks Trump will win, and when he does, that part of me will be able to I told you so, everybody who called for Biden to step down. But that is a very small part of me, and uh, I, do, I don't want that. Man, he can't even keep it going for like, he can't even keep consistent for like 30 seconds. Maybe 15 seconds. I, w I will admit though, the, the, the vindication, the, the timeline where, you, where I get vindicated for, uh, for my, my staunch defense of Biden, uh, that, that is a temptation, but when I fight. Xander Hall, I'm- That is, now, now that is what, I'm sorry. And I don't mean, I don't mean to be hurtful in this conversation. But uh, there's some there's some major cuck chair energy going on there. Oh, I tried so hard for Biden. How oh, part of my soul truly, truly wants Joe, I mean Donald Trump to win, so that I can feel like it wasn't a waste. Have you considered maybe that you didn't need to go so fucking hard defending Biden that you threw your reasoning out the window? Have you considered that? Have you fucking considered that? Maybe. Now, this is an interesting part, okay? Because um, a, 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 Twitter, a Twitter user who you might be familiar with by the name of Staroxvia wrote a thread about this, calling out Xander Hall about this and saying that, the, that it was bullshit, because it was. Staroxvia, you might know, as uh, as as being a pretty a pretty hardcore uh, thread writer on Twitter, and much more, but I will give credit. Uh, you know, one of the uh, the major evidence threads in in a previous incident, the the whole uh, Keffel situation was written by Staroxvia, and Staroxvia is in chat right now. Um, good to see, you, of course. Obviously, you've been here for a while, but Staroxvia uh, wrote a thread. Basically saying a lot of the stuff we said here, other things, but fairly obvious critiques here. But Zan didn't respond to it very well, in fact. Um, <laughs> in fact, uh, Zan responded to this by... <laughs> Zan responded to this by accusing Staroxvia of being a Stalin supporter. With a... By taking this not one step backwards, apparently searching it on Google and finding a somewhat similar quote that was by Stalin at some point in 1942. 
Now that's pretty bad faith. I gotta say. That's, that's pretty bad faith. Did you get blocked, by the way? Did he block you after that? That line isn't a quote, it just describes my sentiment. Yeah, I mean, it's a fairly simple thing. It'd be like saying, like, um, saying that that's like a Stalin quote is like taking the word the and then finding Hitler using the word the and going, oh, real bold move from a Hitler supporter and then showing a citation of when of all the times that Hitler used the word the and being like, ah, gotcha. He made that tweet from behind a block. So there you have it. There you have it. But I'm here. This is the message, okay, everybody? I mentioned this, all right? All the coping aside, all the nonsense aside, if you're gonna take anything from this stream, this is the message I wanna deliver on behalf of Staroxvia to Xander Hall. Staroxvia would like to debate you, Xander Hall, on your coverage uh, of Biden, on your claims about Biden's policy, and on your statements about the election. So I am issuing, because the door has been closed and because I believe in the spirit of good faith, I have no interest in any sort of stupid conversation. However, Staroxvia has a lot to say and I think you should accept. So Xander Hall, on behalf of Staroxvia, I deliver this, mi this missive. Will you debate Staroxvia live on your channel? There you have it. There's the message. Click the hell out of that and go take that over to Xander Hall. Make sure that he sees that one, okay? As you can see, Staroxvi is very, very, very eager to debate you. And I think it would be interesting. I think it would be interesting to, say, to see some of your claims put to the test. Because you've been talking pretty big about everybody who's been insulting... Uh, uh, who's been, who's been critical or insulting towards Biden. You've gone pretty hard against them. You got pretty hard against me. You got pretty hard against members of, of the broader Biden critical community. And I think you should put it to the test. Now, um, I think you, you know, whatever, you have every right to block whoever the hell you want, but I figured I'd deliver the message. So there message is delivered. Silence says, don't be mean. Of course, we're just saying, I'm just, I just offered to deliver a message. Nothing else needed. Just a message. Just take this clip. You can send it to, to Xander Hall. So, do you understand why I was frustrated about this? You understand why it gets under my skin just a little bit? It's, it, you know, it's one thing to watch people, like, throw dirt on their, like, IRL friendships for content. Something I don't respect at all. You know, obviously the internet is entangled to a certain degree with the online world. Um, but I don't respect, I don't respect, uh, people who have such a low value of their real world material friendships, uh, that they'd be willing to start slinging around insults and then acting like, you know, it would be one thing if he was just like, nah, it's fair game, you know, whatever, obviously uh, you know, if he said, Vosh, Vosh has a right to be frustrated. I did compare him to Tim Pool. I did explicitly say, uh, that he was a, uh, Trump supporter. I did imply very heavily that he was a grifter. Um, you know, uh, he has a right to be angry. If, if Xander Hall had been able to say that, it would have been one thing, but he didn't. Instead, he acted like he was the, he was a beset upon a poor little boy. Oh, I said mean things about you and you got angry? How dare, au contraire. I don't like that. And I don't like uh, the, the, the net that's being thrown, the, 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 the shotgun blast that's hitting everyone else because we were fucking right. We were fucking right about Biden. Biden couldn't hack it. He couldn't make it. We know he couldn't make it. There's Joe Biden clung to his position until it was undeniable. We don't even know what the condition of Joe Biden is right now. Joe Biden has COVID. His brain could be completely gone. You have to think about how drastic it has to be for Joe Biden to finally actually consider stepping down and also how late it was, 
how much was covered up and how much bullshit had to be embarrassed on a global sc scale. We were right. Not, we weren't just right. We didn't just throw, throw the rightness out like by pure chance. It wasn't just a gamble. It was structured. And the crazy thing is, is Zan watched that shit. He watched the critiques and ignored the words within in order to pull some stupid dunk about, uh, about fucking Tim Pool or whatever else. Come on. Come on, Jack. Come on. At the end of the day, I don't think Zan is like a bad person, okay? I don't think he's like a giant piece of shit. And I hope that nothing happens that makes me change my opinion on that. I really don't want it. I spent a lot of time with Zan. We did a whole road trip up, up the coast, you know? Just so you know where I'm at, you know? I, I don't, I, I'm hoping that's not the case, but I, I think this is shitty. I think it's shitty and it's annoying and I don't respect it. And I think it's fair game. I think it's fair game once these, once these things have started getting thrown out, once your community members come in and say that you've been implying I'm a grifter who supports Donald Trump, once you say that about another person that you, that you call your friend, I think it's fair game to say, hey, that's kind of bullshit. Oh, uh, you know, I've avoided drama like, like the plague. And I want to think that this isn't drama, but it's a little drama. I'll, I can I can own that it's a little drama, but also come on, come on, Jack. Anyway, we all know where it's ended up. <laughs> we are in the age of the coconut now, one way or another. So, personally, I'd like to see that uh, video that Zan puts out. Remember how he promised? I'd like to see him issue some apologies. I don't think it's gonna happen, but maybe. I'll extend the, I'll extend hope. I want to see him do it. I want to see him do the I'm sorry video. I think that'd be very funny to me and very interesting. And you know what? I might regain some respect. Everybody fucks up sometimes. Again, end of the day, I don't hate the guy. I just think it was fair that he gets a little bit of, a little bit of pushback on this. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this uh, wild and crazy strange segment, uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe, press like, and also leave me your comments. What do you think about all this? Are you tired of the Biden gaslighting? Are you tired of being told there is no war in Ba Sing Se after all of the insufferable Bidenites immediately pretend like they weren't being horrific assholes to everyone who correctly pointed out this stuff in the past? You tell me in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. This has been Demon Mama.